water by the gallon, courtesy of Aqua Illinois. It flows as freely as the residents' questions outside the information center Aqua opened today. Like, could it happen again? How do we move forward? How long this has been like this? But when it comes to the answers, they say the tap runs dry. I received several, quite a few I don't knows. None of our questions were actually answered. Aqua says a biannual test last week found elevated lead levels in 15 homes, and to be safe, they told thousands of people to stop drinking the water. The company is now testing to see how many homes total are affected. Several neighborhoods have been cleared, but about 1,500 homes are still under a do not consume advisory. We still don't really understand what's going on with the areas that are having or showing high levels. Aqua says the representatives here today help residents sign up for water testing and filters. The company sent us a statement saying the product they use to treat the water may have caused lead to dissolve from older pipes and fixtures into the water. They say they've already switched to a new treatment method. What are you doing to try to hold them accountable and try to recommend? Well, there's a declaration that we declared for our emergency meeting on Saturday. Mayor Joseph Rudez says he is calling on Aqua Illinois to bring in its president to answer questions. The main thing that Aqua needs to do is speak to the people. And on Saturday, I'm not going to accept anything less than Aqua being present with us and my city council talking to the residents. And experts say if you live in the do not consume area, you should not drink the water, you should not cook with it, you also should not use it to brush your teeth or prepare formula or make ice cubes. In University Park, Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. And Aqua did not provide anyone to answer our questions on camera. We also emailed them a list of questions and have not heard back.